What do you need to know about getting federally funded government research grants? You're going to find out right now. Hey everybody, I'm Lee Hall from teachingacademia.com and I'm all about giving you the tools you need so you can navigate academia and make your best impact. Today we're talking about what you need to know about getting government federally funded research grants. And I'm just gonna give you a very broad overview here. So the first thing that you need to know is you gotta find the organization that is the right fit for you, right? So that could be NIH, it could be NSF, it could be IES. Right, you got to get in there, you got to look up these different organizations, and you got to find the one that looks like it is best aligned to the work or the kind of work that you do or that you want to do, right? So start by identifying that organization. And then you're going to want to learn the process, the directions, the deadlines, everything about funding for that organization inside and out, right? So they'll typically have um, a deadline that's relatively the same year after year, okay? The directions are gonna pretty much be the same and the process is gonna be pretty much the same. So internalize that so that you make sure that you are putting your best document forward right into the pool. Because these grants, just in case you don't know, they are highly competitive and the odds are you are not going to get funded straight out of the gate, especially if you're an assistant professor and you're doing this maybe by yourself or with a team of other people. But if you're the lead, most likely it's probably not going to happen. But you will get feedback after you have submitted an application that can let you sort of signal to you, hey, we think this is strong, but we need some revisions here. Um, or right, sort of signals to you that this is probably not going to happen for you with our organization. Okay. So make sure you know all the rules inside and out. Um, you want to know, right? You want to know what they value in terms of what is funded and in terms of how it's studied, okay? So for example, I know that um, for me, um, when applying for some of these grants, I know that some of these organizations value particular kinds of assessments. They expect to see certain standardized assessments in place. All right. So whether or not I agree with that, if I don't agree with it, then I need to go somewhere else. But if I'm OK with it, then I need to make sure that particular kinds of standardized assessments are worked into my grant. So know what they value, not just in terms of topics that they fund, because that's ultimately how you're going to start. Right. You're going to be picking an organization that, hey, look, they fund the type of work that I do topically. But then what is it? What do they value in terms of how it is studied, right? Because a lot of these um, government agencies are going to want mixed methods or quantitative studies. They're probably not or it's going to be more difficult to find an agency that is going to fund something that's purely qualitative, right? Like an ethnography. That can be challenging, okay? I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying it can be challenging. So find out what they value in terms of research design, right? And if that's not a good fit for you, and you don't want to make those concessions, then just go somewhere else, okay? that's There's no problem with that. But if you're okay with that, right, then, then obviously you can work those kinds of things in. Now, ideally, because you're going to have to submit a budget with these, someone on campus is going to ideally be able to help you with your budget. So talk to your department chair or talk to your dean about who is my support person for this, right? Who do I go to on campus to make sure that my budget is correct? Because you're going to have things like course buyouts. How much does that cost, right? It's usually a percentage of your salary. Assistantships, they could be nine-month assistantships. They could be year-round assistantships. How much does that cost, right? And even if you think you know, you want somebody who can verify all of those numbers because things change, all right? And then... Keep in mind when you're making your budget that 50% of your budget is going to go to indirect costs approximately. But again, find out from the appropriate person on your campus how much of your budget needs to be set aside for indirect costs so you know how to plan for the remainder of the money that you actually could get, right? Um, and I've said before, these are going to be highly competitive. Expect to resubmit unless you've got, you know, a long history, right, with getting grants from this particular agency, in which case you're probably not watching this video because you don't need it. Um, but just know that I can revise and resubmit everything. It's probably coming your way soon if you submit for a government grant. 
Um, and you might need to conduct a smaller study first. So I actually had this happen with my first submission to a government grant. They were happy, I'm going to say, for loss of a better word. Um, they, they were at least interested in my grant. They saw some potential in my study, but they wanted some evidence first. So they asked me to go back. They didn't give me any money. They asked me to come back and go back and conduct a smaller study first. So they were they basically said, we, we like this idea. Um, do it on a smaller scale. You find your own money for that. Do it on a smaller scale and then come back to us. OK, and so if, if, if it looks promising, if you've got a strong data set, so, um, you know, come back and talk to us further. So you might be asked to go do some pilot work. It typically will not give you money to do that pilot work, which means you either have to go find money or you're going to have to do it out of your own hide. And so if that happens, you will have to think, right, is this worth it? Do I want to go ahead and try to get money or just sort of make it happen somehow um, with a pilot study? Or do I want to take this and go to a different um, organization, maybe look at a foundation, look at an internal grant? What do I want to do here? So that's a broad overview about getting government research grants. Questions, your personal experience with working with them, head on down below, put them in the comments. Let's talk more.